Today's May 10th and checking in on the do-it-yourself black soldier fly bucket composter. Um, it has been since, uh, let's see, April 26th that I first started this bucket. The, uh, the eggs, the larvae were, that I first introduced were laid on April 12th and hatched on the 16th. So the oldest larva in here would be 24 days old. Well, those were only 80 to 100 larvae I'm estimating. I added also on the 26th another batch of larvae that would have been laid on April 20th and hatched on the 24th. So those would be 16 days old now. Uh, those numbered 3 to 400 I'm guessing. And then around May 1st and 2nd there was a lot of uh, egg laying directly in the bucket for the first time. I initially seeded the bucket with some larvae that I had uh, larvae that hatched from eggs that I had collected elsewhere and the first egg laying happened uh, roughly uh, eight or nine days ago so there are several thousand larvae in here now although most of them um, are only a few days old so uh, probably impossible to see in this video. Anyway, I'm going to take the lid off slowly and see if there might be some black soldier fly females laying at the moment. I think I saw some going into the bucket. And there are two that are down on the wood shavings. And I just looked under the lid and I don't see any on the lid, although I did see one earlier laying eggs in the voids of the cardboard. So there are several clusters of eggs in the voids on the cardboard. I'll try and get a photo of those and uh, make that photo available uh, at my blog. Anyway, I'm going to try and see if I can dig up some of the older larvae here and of course many of them have mixed themselves down into the filter medium now. Okay, This one is probably one of the medium sized larvae that would have been um, would be 16 days old now. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There are several smaller ones. There's There's been several days where they were uh, laying directly in the bucket so um, these smaller ones, if you can see them, are probably the ones that were laid on the May 1st and 2nd, which would make them, well, they probably hatched them four or five days ago, six days ago. So that's not an unreasonable size to expect for that age of a larva. The larvae are photophobic, so they try and avoid the light. So they're, they're down and they'll come and eat the waste from the bottom. I'm going to try not to disturb this female while she sizes up the bucket for laying some eggs. Now I say that's a female because uh, after mating the males pretty much just disappear. They don't have a mission in life after mating. So it's very rare, I believe, if I have the principal right to see a male. Um, they certainly wouldn't be attracted to any waste because the only they don't eat the none of the adults eat so there's really no point they have no eggs to lay obviously so they would uh, it would be rare to see a male now the one that's on the side of the bucket now has is touching the walls of the bucket with her abdomen and she's depositing individual eggs as opposed to a cluster so she'll randomly deposit them along and then if she finds a spot that she feels is uh, more safe some nice little nook that will offer more protection uh, she'll deposit a whole cluster of eggs that will number on average around 400 eggs so we've got two females laying at the time at this time and another one checking it out which uh, I would consider good activity to see this many to see three or four at your bucket at one time uh, in my experience is is a good number um, very rare to see more than more than two or three at a time and then of course after they lay their eggs they'll just disappear and they won't pester people or anything of course